Welcome back to our channel. Today, I am going to be doing a huge Abercrombie Kids, um, Abercrombie and Fitch Kids clothing haul for Maya. So, I didn't realize, well, I... That's scary. I cannot talk. She needed new clothes. Like, she hit some major girl spurt, and she pretty much needed an entire wardrobe. I was going back and forth on where I wanted to buy her clothes. So, mm -hmm. I looked on Old Navy, I looked on Carter's, I looked at Target, Walmart, and all of these clothes I actually got on sale from Abercrombie because right now they're transitioning over to like their spring and summer clothes, but here in Minnesota it's still pretty cold, so all of like their winter stuff was on a really good deal, like good price. So I actually got some stuff cheaper from Abercrombie than I would if I would have went to like Walmart, Target, like from all those stores, so I'm pretty sure from now on I am going to be just buying her clothes from Abercrombie because she's outgrown Carter. I mean, she hasn't outgrown Carter's, but I'm just not a fan of the Carter's kids' clothing. Like, it's just, I don't like a bunch of, like, stuff all over her shirts and, like, random sayings all over her shirts. And the Old Navy, they don't have, like, they have cute clothes, but not, like, a huge selection, um, at least online. Um, and they're honestly priced more than Abercrombie kids. Um, and then Walmart... Like I said, some of the stuff at Walmart isn't the greatest. And Target, um, Target we have an issue with because a lot of their stuff is crop top. And I think from now on, we're going to, no. her main clothing place that we will buy from is either Once yeah. Upon a Child, but she's now in that age of yeah. Once Upon a Child clothes where they don't really have much for her. Um, but yeah. either Once Upon a Child or Abercrombie is where we're gonna go. Like I said, I have this huge box here and I'm just going to start just pulling out and I don't know the prices on everything but I think the most I paid for something was $24 everything else was around I think like $10 um, okay so and to the quality is super nice she has a couple pieces from Abercrombie um, but the quality is really nice and it is super soft so here's the first item she is a 7 8 first item is just a long sleeve camo pink Super pretty and super soft. Um, I got her, she tried these ones on. Um, I got her four pairs of bike shorts. I just call them playground shorts. There are a bunch of these. Um, these are just bike shorts. These were only like $4. I got them on sale for a really good price. So I got her a black pair. I got her this like, what color would you say this is? Like a dusty pink, dusty rose um, pair, a pair. And I can't find the other one. But next thing I got was this like knit sweater. Super pretty. It's nice to have just like a nice, nicer sweater. I really love this one. This is I think a crew neck sweater. It's just purple. And then on the back. And this one she loves. It's just this pink long sleeve and then like the mousse it's, like all glittery and it's super soft as well more of like a dressier shirt it has like a little tie at the bottom and down super pretty long sleeve i'm not gonna go too crazy on summer clothes because we're not in that stage yet but this was also on clearance for a really good price i think it was like four dollars it's just the striped tank top got her a bunch of just plain t-shirts so this one just is white says Abercrombie and Fitch this one's just a plain like dusty pink one this one oh this isn't a t-shirt but this is a long sleeve and she really loves the tie detail she has a couple shirts like this super pretty super soft as well um, another just plain t-shirt in like green these ones on too um a pair of leggings they're inside out but a pair of leggings this one she really loves as well it has a hood a long sleeve like i wish you got it literally feels like butter it's so soft the other bike shorts that she got it's like a green color olive color we're coming into the sweatshirts white Abercrombie sweatshirt this one was on sale I believe this was only like 15 so this was a good price and she absolutely loves she loves Sherpas and this one we actually paid the same price as if we were to get it from Sam's Club and I feel like it's a lot softer um, and fluffier but she loves it it's just this pink camo 
Sherpa. She got another pair this one does. of leggings. My girl loves leggings. She does not like jeans. I want it. And then she got another this Sherpa. Jeans. This one has a hood. This one has a hood as well. Yeah. And then this one has a hood. The moose. Just a Sherpa. I if I went through that really fast, but I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to take all the tags off now wash them but definitely look at abercrombie kids if you want some cute affordable not everything is affordable i can say um but if you look at their sale and their clearance section there's definitely some affordable stuff for the same price for target with maya it's the exact same price so i said from now on i'm probably going to stick with Abercrombie, maybe Target. Um, I do like to go to Marshalls for Maya, but she's also in that stage at Marshalls and like TJ Maxx where they don't have anything for her in her size. It's just like a bunch of like baby clothes, baby girl clothes. I never have cute boy clothes there. That's Maya's. I honestly, I plan on doing another Abercrombie haul for Noah. Noah's also hitting another girl spurt where he needs sweatshirts. He, need, he needs sweatshirts, shirts, and he, he needs it all honestly so i'll probably do that here in a couple weeks i want to kind of look around on like carter's um target and stuff like that but like i said the most i paid was 24 and i believe it was for the sherpas um but everything else like leggings and stuff i believe these were like six dollars um, the shirts were super inexpensive. These were only like seven or eight dollars. So definitely affordable. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this vlog. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to end this vlog. I'm going to show you what we got from. I'm going to show you what we got from Marshalls today. I needed a new like laundry basket with four kids. The one laundry basket that we've had since Maya was a baby. It's just not holding up anymore. Like that, the string is broken, not holding up. So what we did was got a laundry basket for Gage and I. The kids will now have Gage and I's laundry basket, and like everything will get moved around. So I'm gonna show you what we got from Marshalls. Okay, before I show you what I got from Marshalls, I know some people don't like Ray Dunn. Like I know there is a love and a hate with Ray Dunn. I personally love it. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if people think it's tacky. I like it. So, there's a couple of Radon pieces in here. There's the laundry basket. This is going to be Gage and I's laundry basket. Um, and then, like I said, the kids will get switched over. Inside of it, take the receipt. Um, okay, we wanted a candle because it's going to be so beautiful and there's something about lighting a candle when it's nice out and you can have, if it even focuses. Here we go. There's something about opening the window and having a candle going not just your wax melt an actual candle so this is just the sand and fog teak wood soy soy wax blend um how much was this i think this was only this was 7.99 oh really yeah okay next thing i got is this paris hilton um body spray i had this as a kid and it was my absolute favorite so of course i had to get it because i haven't seen it anywhere 6.99 was how much this cost and i saw these at checkout and i thought this would be a fun little treat um little snack for the kids at disney so this will go on our trip and go into our disney world um backpack and then i actually do have a makeup case by ray dunn in white i can't remember what it says but um it is smaller it's not a big one and this one is one of your like what are these called like a travel case cosmetic pouch i don't know the one i have is smaller and i wanted one that's like a little bit bigger so i didn't have to use two makeup bags because i put my makeup and my hair products into one so this just says mom life super cute love it and that's pretty much all that we got from uh, TJ Maxx, like I said. Marshalls. Marshalls. Laundry basket it was like our main thing, so. There we go. How much was this laundry basket? I think it was only, that was the price, $19.99. So. Good morning, you guys. I decided to add like a mini vlog into this um, Abercrombie haul. It is Sunday morning. It is currently 7.30. We put a Walmart um, grocery pickup in. The thing is, the only time for the Walmart grocery pickup is kind of further away than our like normal Walmart. You're probably thinking, well, didn't you just go grocery shopping? We did, but we forgot milk and um, dishwasher pods and stuff like that. So we're 
We're going to head to Walmart. Yes. And then Gage is going to, what are you going to do? Smoke some, some ribs. ribs. Some baby backs. Yeah, so it's pretty early in the morning, but it's good to get up early. Yeah. <laughs> we just got to pick up and the kids are waiting. Hey, let's sit in our seats, though. Hi, baby boy. You're so handsome. Hi, Wetton. No, put the tablet down. I didn't. No, I want the tablet, please. The kids, the older two, lost the tablets. Let me have the tablet, please. Don't throw it. Sausage, bacon, biscuits, and gravy for breakfast. Are you excited? Well, it's not sausage, bacon. It's sausage and strips. Sausage, bacon. I said sausage, bacon. But it's not bacon. Sausage strips. Sausage <laughs> Sorry. Scott strips. Just got done cleaning up breakfast, and Charles is in here, and he's matching the animals. Where does this one go? Where does the lion go? We want to do the monkey. Where's monkey? There's monkey. Doggy. Dog. Good job. Oh no. Oh no. Duh. You fix him? No. No? <laughs> Where does Wait. that one go? Where's the lion? Where? There it is. Duh. And the pig? Where does that one go? Oh. Yeah. yeah. And the kitty. There's kitty. Yay. Yay, Charlie. High five. Nux. Yeah. Weston and I went up to CVS and I picked up the Kiss gel. You guys know I love the gel fantasy. Um, over every other, any other kind that they have, I got short this time instead of, usually I do medium or long, but I didn't want to go to... Um, I just wanted it simple, so this is what it looks like. It's super pretty. Um, I did file them down just a little bit, and now I'm working on this hand, but I think it's super pretty, and I love it. I just got done doing my nails. I honestly, I don't know if I like the short or the longer ones better. Like, the shorts are cute because I don't have to um cut them down or file them that much i still do file them they are all done and they look really good oh by the way you can tell one of the kids drew their handprints right here but yeah i think they look good we are actually grilling dinner tonight gage is out there um and i plan on doing a whole separate video on our dinners of the week so that will be in a different vlog but i'm getting everything ready and prepped it is so nice out yes our door is open um we're getting everything ready. Kids are out here playing. All the snow's melting. One time I jump rope without socks and I got a splinter in my foot. Oh, you have stuff on your nose. Me? Yeah. Oh, up more. It's like dirt. So the kids are all in bed and I picked something up from Walmart that I wanted to show you guys. I'm a little excited to try and a little nervous too. It is the Duncan Cold Brew. Um, you just packs coffee packs. So you put it in a pitcher. This is what you do. You steep it in the refrigerator overnight and instead of like making my coffee and then throwing it in the freezer, I just, you know, make it in a pitcher and throw it in the um you know in the fridge overnight i also need to put these into the fridge i got these premier protein um the caramel kind to add to my coffee um and then i'm trying to add a lot more like protein into my diet because i don't know just trying to be a little bit healthier um i i have these these are protein one bars that are actually pretty good and if you do keto it's keto friendly um i don't do keto but and then i have these special k protein meal bars um that i have tried and they are good and it really does help your hunger that's like a big thing with me is like I'm good till about 2 in the afternoon, and then I get really hungry. Um, usually I don't eat breakfast. I know that sounds terrible, but, like, usually my first meal isn't until, like, noon, 1 o'clock. And so, I mean, coffee. 
coffee's not really a meal, but um, yeah, I'll have this with one of my coffees. So, doing better. Add the two coffee packs, and you add four cups of cold water. It's kind of weirding me out. I tried to like push them down. They don't, so if you have these, let me know. But we're gonna put it in the fridge overnight. It says for eight to 12 hours. And then um, it says it can be in your refrigerator for up to a week. So, I mean, this will be gone in like two days. Not even. Day and a half? Two days? I wanted to show you guys that cold brew. I actually saw it on TikTok and I wanted to try it. I'm not a huge fan of Dunkin' Donuts coffee from like the actual um, shop. We have had the Dunkin' Donuts um, Keurig pods and the Dunkin Donuts like pre-made coffee, but from actual Dunkin Donuts Gage and I just weren't a huge fan of it So I'm a little nervous to try it. I know here at home We can make it to our liking instead of like getting it from Dunkin, but I am going to end this vlog Thank you guys so much for watching. We actually have our carpet cleaner out and we are going to be Starting the whole like spring cleaning process tomorrow And of course we are filming it and that will be up in our channel later this month and this vlog be sure to subscribe if you are not already and turn your channel notifications on so you never miss a video i will leave all of our links to our social media down below thank you guys so much for watching and we'll talk to you in the next vlog